Good evening, this is Donna with Magical Workings, and I am here to do a client reading for Kasha. It is January 25th, 2014, and it is 10.15 p.m. This is a Life Purpose Oracle reading using Doreen Virtue Life Purpose deck here. It's a beautiful deck, as you can see. This is the back of the cards here, and the imagery is just gorgeous on this deck. Um, Kasha, first off, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. I'm going to start by shuffling the deck here. Um, before I began this reading, I went into a meditative state and asked for your guides and my guides um, to join us in this reading so that we can give you an accurate um, reading that will help guide you and give you insight on your life purpose. Um, this can be career path. It can just be, you know, your soul's calling what you should be doing with your life um, that will be most fulfilling to you and make you happy. Um, you'll kind of get, again, this is three cards. You'll, you'll get an idea with the three cards of um, just what paths you should take and where you would be best suited. We'll just shuffle a couple more times here. And um, I've been reading cards for over 20 years for people. I do in person, through Skype, through um, my Etsy store here, where you, um, this reading was purchased from. And I start off reading for friends and family, for myself, and just. Uh, branched out from there. I consider myself an intuitive reader. Uh, I get my information um, through visions, through just the things that I hear, um, and just a knowing feeling. So um, we're just going to start this reading off with the first card. And this is a beautiful beautiful card, leadership. Take charge of the situation. Um, what i getting from this re this card and during this reading and what I'm being told is that you really need to take charge of your life. Um, especially if others are trying to tell you what to do or how you should um, proceed or what you should pursue in life. If, if they have their own vision for you, I don't feel that what they're trying to push on on you or, or tell you is maybe the best thing for you. You need to take charge um, and, and follow your own path. But this card is also saying that you have wonderful leadership skills and, and that you would be great at implementing these skills. Um, that you kind of already know what you want to do, but you want a um, confirmation of this. And this is the confirmation you need. Follow your dreams. Don't, don't um, let anyone tell you that your dreams are wrong or that um, you won't be good at doing something because they don't like it. Um, so, so that's... That's card one. This is leadership. You you, you need to, to take control. Get your life back. The next card that um, I pull is practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Regularly. Again, I f I'm really feeling that you kind of already have an idea of what, what you want to do with your life. Um, maybe you have a craft or a skill that you would like to pursue. Something that really, truly makes you happy. But the best way for you to pursue this and to become adept at this is through practice. And I also feel that you'll get a lot of enjoyment by practicing something that you love. Um, that you'll be more apt to do it um, if you enjoy it. And every skill to, needs practice. Even um, the angels that came down to earth, they, they were not always as 
adept at, at helping and, and following the path. They had to learn too, and practice makes perfect. Um, third card that we're we're going to draw tonight is builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Again, this is fall. This reading is really following. Um, a clear theme here that this is something that you desire that um, you want to do um, especially create that there's a creativity in your inside of you that's just waiting to burst and be released and I feel that you find inspiration in just the mundane things of everyday life and um, you can build upon that that you can take something that doesn't seem very special and make it something brilliant and beautiful and um, repurpose it, G give it a, a new life so that others may enjoy this. Um, I really feel that this is just a creative skill and I, I the vision that I'm getting is just this light bursting out of you, especially through the the chest and shoulder areas and it's this is just a wonderful creativity and flowing beautiful yellow light that just surrounds you and this is your your creativity and inspiration ready to burst forward and again take charge practice what you enjoy do what do what you love, what what comes naturally to you. And then build upon it, create. Um, and this is going to be the most fulfilling path that you you can follow, even if it doesn't bring you the let me say this a different way. The financial rewards will come but they are the least important that um, this this inspiration and creativity um, that's what just keeps coming to me needs to be released and by doing so you're going to find contentment and happiness and just a joy of life that you uh, you would never imagine if you you know had you not pursued doing what you love. So don't listen to what others tell you. If they tell you, oh, that's not going to make you money or you're no good at that, you, you won't like it, this isn't the path you need to go down. Don't listen to them. Take charge of your life and do what you enjoy in life. And that's the message that's coming through this reading. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me um, via email. I'm happy to clarify any of these cards or any part of this reading for you. And again, Kasha, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this reading, and I hope that um, it brings you the guidance and um, insight that you are searching for. Many blessings, and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.